We're going to make another Legion for Magna Gratia. Cool. So now we have another 5k stack, and they've spawned down here. Not a bad spot. I can get them on road building duty as well. I think this road's already built, honestly, but we don't have to worry. We don't have any maintenance or anything to worry about. I think that is already built, honestly. So let's more go like over here. We got to get a road going up uh, northeast. Well, actually, we can kind of do something with Potentia. Potentia is an interesting one, to say the least. It's a very, very interesting one. I want to start getting it connected to all these different parts of the road system. I'm going to get a road also building kind of down the center here, leading towards Rome. But that would be another good idea. And I can kind of crisscross connect this crap down here for maximum bonuses. And then I guess once that's done, yeah, I'll go ahead and bring it back up north here. And then we can build kind of connecting up this way so i'm not sure that's how i want him doing it but it's definitely a faster way looking at the hills and mountains here i'll, I'll i might intervene later in that um, we also have to get this one properly set up it's not too hard to do because we don't have a lot to change let's see how's his war in egypt he's winning but he's not going for his war target which means he's losing and he might get peace enforced on him so narfi seems to be messing something up here What's up? He, I don't think he paid attention to what he used as his war target because basically Alexandria is his goal, but he's attacking south into the Middle East and the eastern part of Egypt. Meaning even though he's winning, he's still losing. And if he keeps doing this for long enough, he can have white peace enforced on him. Interesting. No, I'm not going to correct um, him. Yeah. Yeah, he probably accidentally did the wrong war target or something like that. Hey, quick question. Just wasn't paying attention. What's up? What do you think? What do you think would be better, national commerce income plus twenty percent or national slave output plus twenty percent? Commerce. Our income is really starting to go down. Aggressive expansion is going down a little bit. We could maybe afford another war, maybe. Uh, we have stability problems right now due to the amount of aggressive expansion we have, and it's certainly not doing our relations any favors. Having the aggressive expansion we have. Again, I just want to use the mercenaries as much as is humanly possible while I have them. It's getting hard to keep up with that. And I can't just reasonably get rid of them while I still need them. The rest of these are not really worth making into legions, and my remaining legions are weakened. Sweet, I've become a monarchy at currently. Last. By the fact that I have the ability to make so many, they can have less troops in each one of them. Oh, what? Travis, what happened to you? You look like a lot smaller. Yeah, people weren't happy. Oh, did you have a rebellion? Um, I'm I, just a bunch of unfortunate events. Rhodes, or Rhodes, uh, did a war of independence, and while I was down south, or with those guys, these guys, um, I had a choice to declare war or give right, up. Fuck it, let's just go to war. Well, let's I use these mercs well, while we have them. Because the I was in a deficit at that point. Use them while we have them, right? Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, you'll get them back. I think our mercs can pretty much win that war by themselves. Defensive leagues can't really do much right now. You don't have no allies of your own? I only have two allies, and one of them is in said defensive league, and they won't join me on my side. Wow. <laughs> this feudatory already kind of likes us enough that we don't even need to make them like us more. We might by the time we can actually integrate them, because that's going to be a while for now. So I'll still improve relations once anyway. It's nice that we got this as a feudatory, literally just for free. I love the ability to guarantee countries and then just get them. That's wonderful. And now we can get another diplomatic relation, which will be handy for doing things just like that. But where is the question? No one really likes me very much due to my aggressive expansion, so we can't really do that in very many places. Damn, Thrace is 312 territories all by itself. It's pretty big. It's as big as I am. It doesn't have nearly as many pops, though. I am pretty much surpassing Carthage at this point, though, which is nice. I could do with having some more roads in Greece as well. Not quite sure where to put them or how to put them even, but I know this should be a big crisscrossing section right here. And then this can lead me up towards here. And then this is going to be a big crisscrossing section. I don't think we can build a road through um, these little crossings, unfortunately. So that is a problem, but we can at least build some crisscrossing roads up here leading up to them. 
So that's something. And then also out here, because that's where a road would go once we take some more from Thrace. And then that's some more roads in Greece that will help. I'm doing road building with like all of my legions right now. And I gotta start building more stuff up the east coast as well and connect these road systems together. It's looking really, really nice right now. And our war over here is going very smoothly. These dudes are very weak. We're just dominating them with mercenaries while my legions are all road building. <laughs> now we need more assimilation or integration of pops to get more dudes. The Lepontics are still integrated uh, and the... Oh, well, the Macedonians, they're integrated, but they're not the largest yet. But we seem like we're going to get a couple more here soon. Really, a lot more will come as we take over just all of Greece in general. So I'm not too worried about it. And there's more Lepontic stuff up here as well. The Lepontics, they go up here more, which maybe I can get some more of them. There's none in Ratio, unfortunately. Once we take over Ratio, we might be able to guarantee Lepontia itself which theoretically should have a lot of Lepontics in it, yeah? And that would be helpful for integration status. All right, that looks like that's another war we've won. That was pretty easy. Only two aggressive expansion for that whole war. There you go. Banish those class, put the rest of the sword, and we'll figure out what the hell to do here. Do we have loyalty to actually do stuff? Yeah, yeah, we do. Oh, and this is a city. That's actually really nice. And I think our capital automatically moved here. Although this is not nearly as good of a spot by the looks of it. No. Oh, this isn't even a city, is it? This is just a settlement. No, it's a city. It's not nearly as good of a city, so I, I kind of despise that the capital was moved there. But it's, uh, it's okay. We got another city here. Is this a city? No, it's not. Get rid of the fortress. This is also not a city. Not a city. Let's get rid of that fortress. Only leave a fortress in the city we took. So that didn't really hurt our aggressive expansion too much, which is nice, especially because pretty much we had claims on everything we took. Going for Thrace is not going to be an easy thing. It's really, really not. And we have a lot of really unfortunate borders with them. But we don't need to take a whole lot from them. It's just this stuff. It's all we need from them. Oh, no, that's a lie. They have some stuff down south that we need as well, such as this city and these two spots and Corinthos itself. Yeah, there's a lot of things down here. The Antigonids would give me stuff. We don't have a truce with the Antigonids anymore, so we can go for them again whenever we want. They're currently trying to expand throughout Crete and then some by the looks of it. Yeah, all of Crete. They're trying to expand through all of Crete right now. I don't mind if they take it, I guess. That doesn't get in my way too much. Yeah, so long as I make, like, these very specific claims, then what I'm doing here won't be too tough. I'm gonna continue road building for a little bit, but I'm gonna prepare myself to go in on Thrace here. They're very powerful. They're very powerful, so they're no, they're no one to be trifled with. I'll need my Legion involved in this war for sure. The Legion can stay down here, and the Mercenaries can stay up here, and I definitely need the Mercenaries for this war. That much is certain. That gives me some time to fix stuff up in the meantime. My road network is coming along wonderfully. Let's look at it in the atlas. Yeah, look at this shit. Look at how much roads I've built. It's looking so interconnected now. And Greece is getting connected as well. Eventually, it will all connect together. For now, the, the distance doesn't matter too much. We have built up the ships I was building up, which is good. We have a slightly stronger navy. 75 ships, 30 of them being medium. So nothing compared to what I believe Carthage will have. I can get 10 more of these ships, that would be wonderful. And realistically, I should be able to afford it, yeah. Especially by the time they're actually built. Oh yeah, I can afford this, so let's make... 10 more Hexair medium ships to bolster my forces here. That's looking pretty nice. 40 medium ships, that will help in the long run, no matter what we end up doing. The road network is coming along. Very nice. Everything's all connected. Yeah, I'm f I'm ma finishing a major road construction with two legions in Italia. I have a legion building up a little minor road network in Greece, connecting what I built in Illyria to like the kind of the center north of Greece. Not quite to Pella yet, the former capital of Macedon. But I'm getting ready for some more big wars. Uh, I'm I intend to finish taking Greece sooner rather than later. I'm, I'm not going all in like, hey, I have a claim on this country. Let me claim as much as possible from that country now. Because Rome gets so many free claims anyway, and so much political influence is left over. My goal is really just to take what I need for my mission, which is all the stuff I have claims for, because it's easier to take, so I can just keep expanding rapidly. And then once that's done, I could just move my attention to Carthage and get a bunch of free claims on them. And then it'll, it's just, it's so easy to do it that way right now. 
It's hard to take over more than I need. Well, at least all that juicy stuff in Greece will definitely help you. That's that's gonna be a lot of uh, one sword for it. A lot of booty. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna get a claim against Salacia up here with the War Council, which means we could conquer this at some point if we want to. I just want to get more claims. Even if I am not min-maxing my claims down here, I'd still like to get some claims. Ooh, the Thracians are at war with the Basbaran Kingdom. And they're no pushover. They're not going to win, but they're no pushover. I have to keep my eye on that. As it progresses, a perfect opportunity will arise here. A perfect opportunity for declaring war on Thrace. Yeah, I'm thinking Thrace is next. I'm going to get everything in Greece that I need from them soon. Well, good luck. Thrace is, um, very powerful right now, which actually, currently they're at war with the, uh, Crimea. Guys. Yeah, the Basbaran Kingdom. I'm keeping an eye on that. Once I see them really start fighting, I'm going to declare war and take advantage of a weakened Thrace. I, I have, like, 60k units down here, 60k men. So I am, I'm ready, especially while they're distracted up north. And they're definitely up there. They had some units up there. They might have sailed up there, because I see them taking a little bit of stuff. I'm just finishing up a road, and then I'll get going. Let's ask the Antigonids for military access. Oh, it's still not enough, is it? Uh, no, it should be enough, actually, once we actually end up in war. All right, so we're going to have a big-ass thing starting here momentarily. But for everything I'm doing, like, I'm rapidly expanding, and we need to keep going to keep our money up. So what is this? What is this right here? This is what will make the war goal. Pelagonia. Pelagonia it is. The war with Thrace begins. Alright, let's get started. Now, this is going to be a chunky takeover, but literally, I'm just going for all this marked stuff they have in Greece. That's all I care to get from them. Yeah, they also have Corinthos down here as well. That'll be fun, but I have access to reach it. My legion will work on this crap down here. The legion's good at sieging. They'll be pretty well off. Looks like a lot of my road building up here is done. That's nice. There could be some more roads, but it's nothing I need to worry about just yet. And I don't need these dudes at war right now, but I'll take them off of road building and they'll just linger in Italia for the time being. Race has a lot of units here already. Very little preparation, let's say. This will be no pushover. No pushover indeed. We have two major sieges to do. Corinthos is a very important thing as well. We can spend 300 gold once we get it to add eight pops to it with state, culture, and religion, and that will be wonderful. Corinthos itself is already just such an important city. <laughs> the ships are coming from all over the place. Now that we have more ports that can build these ships, they're building really quickly. Oh, Thrace has a big navy. This is their entire navy right here. It's like all light ships. Imagine if we could attack that and capture a bunch. We're still waiting on some building, though. Yeah, we still have, like, Four Hexairs building. I might cancel some of these. Yeah, let's Let's go ahead and cancel some Wait for this one to finish sail over there And then when it pops out we can have a major naval battle and then maybe we can capture a bunch I don't know. We might just lose a bunch of ships as well, but we could use the military experience We really really could 10k troops over here making a nuisance of themselves, but we'll deal with them I'll take over as much as I need to in terms of occupying to actually right, claim the shit I need for today I have to start getting ready Yes, we are. Right. And here's just a little lesson for Narfi. Notice I'm in a war. And I'm not yelling at him for wanting to end right now. Because <laughs> we knew we were going to end at this point anyway. Good job. Good job. What? Yeah, because yesterday you were like, Dude, I'm in a war! When I <laughs> left at the scheduled time to swap games. I don't have time to look at the time when I'm at war. All right, game is saved. Be gone, Travis. Oh god, let me start my fucking recording. This is stupid already. I have a hair in my mouth. Okay. Are you, are you boys are ready? I'm ready yeah. to go. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna. I'll do a quick little intro, sort of. Not really. Uh, I'll unpause because I'm in a giant war with Thrace. And yeah. You have fun in Egypt. Uh, barbarians keep barbing. Alright. <laughs> Alright, it's a new day and a new recording session. And we are going to now resume our war with Thrace. I forgot most things I was going to do a week ago, to be honest. But, yeah. 
I also wanted to point out, hey, look, we're at the top of the scoreboard. Woo! And Seleucids are in number four. Grace is number five. We're going to take him down a peg, and he's going to take Egypt down a peg. Eventually, we'll go get Carthage. But for now, one thing I know is I need to bring this navy over once this unifies with it. But let's go ahead and get started. We have some sieges going all around with our Merc armies up north and our Legion down south. There's wars happening around us. Our main goal right now is to conquer Greece. Not that you need an update on that. Moreover, I need an update on that. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Ship. Sail faster. So what's this crap? Military access? I don't care. All right. Cool. We got the fleet. Let's go. Now, their navy is based out over here. So I'm going to go probably over here. It's not here. I think it was here, but I think they moved it. I don't really know. For now, I'll actually use it to support the siege at Corinthos because we need a blockade there. I wonder if we could... We'd, ugh, they have so many ships there, we'd probably lose ships overall rather than gaining anything from fighting them, but the XP, the military experience, should be fucking amazing. Theoretically, if we get XP for all the ships, can ships have XP? Yeah, yeah, they can have XP. A big fight would be nice. Oh, oh, I want to siege up here. I need to do this omen. Let me pause real quick. Oh, God. Commerce income. Oh, 17,000 Phrygians. Is a levy? Holy shit, that's not even... That's them down here. The Phrygians. I don't know how to say this, but the Phrygians. The Fridge. Uh, they're showing up. All right, we got to get into action here. We got to get our... our... Oh, this is our smaller mercenary group. Oh, right. I was also going to take them and go deal with this siege. All right. Deal with the siege first, and then we'll worry about these guys. They can't do too much damage in the meantime. So that's fine. We're about to win up here. Our legion down south will be preoccupied. I have legions at home just in case. Small ones that were there mainly for road building that is now done. It looks like they're going to go for Pella. That's not a problem. I do need to stop this over here. The Thracian siege that's been going on. All right, now we get moving down towards the 17k with these mercs that just won their battle. Oh, moving around here takes a while. I don't have, because, you know, a lot of these are not my territories. Interconnected roads. Oh, my God. Truly dire advisor. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. All right, so we're going to do that battle. We're going to win it. It's very good. It's very nice. Keep progressing. Moving on. Yep. All right, cool. And we're going to attack from not the river, which is good, because the mercs don't have engineers. This battle begins, and we're winning. Our formations are about equal. Our discipline is higher. I don't know who has higher total morale. Ah, uh, they're the same. But we're dominating. What's funny is these are mercenaries. These aren't even, like, my actual units. All right, cool. Well, that, they're taken care of. Now we can move all the mercenaries kind of east. But I'm going to send the big stack to try to deal with the 17.5k. Still 17.5k. You know, that's kind of dangerous. I think these are mostly Roman or Greek, these mercenaries. I don't know. They have setups that make me believe that. Archers, heavy infantry, and light cav. They're pretty good setups. All right, our ships are arriving to assist the siege at Corinthos, the beautiful city of Corinthos. Yes. Oh, they ran. Oh, look at that. They're running. Yeah, I don't want to cross this river right now is the thing. I'll go around. I'll kind of follow after them. I don't want to engage them. I just want to follow after them. You head over that way. You just follow in tow for the time being. Probably going for a quick cap or another siege. Either way, we got our units shifting east. We're only going after the things we have claims on because I'm expanding quickly. So my aggressive expansion is high. I want to keep as low as possible. I don't care about exploiting the aggressive expansion to get like a bunch more than I actually want. I'm here for a specific amount of stuff to complete a mission, which I'm already going to be taking more than I need to complete the mission. All right, I don't believe this. Why does it say this? Well, I don't believe it. Their army has higher morale than mine. I still don't believe it. 24 and a half K, even on the offensive. Oh, oh, there's more of them. Oh, more of them showed up. That's why. Oh, shit. They went from 17 and a half K to outnumbering me in an instant. Okay, that explains why. Maybe I should have believed it. Well, I got more mercs heading in tow, so they might win this battle against these mercs, but and they have even more coming. Woo! Yeah, that's going to hurt a little bit, but it's okay. These are mercs. It won't drain from our manpower. It doesn't really cost me anything. It lets me save money for a few days, actually. This area is mostly just fine. We're trying to buy time for the... Uh... Oh, and we still killed at a positive KDR despite losing. That's not bad. They have even more stuff showing up. Oh my god, look at everything they fucking have here. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Okay, they're not committing to this. Wait, what? Oh, Corintho Siege 1, finally, yes. All right, now I gotta go up to this one. This is the big one. This is the big one that's gonna be really difficult. <laughs> so we're gonna do that one next. Are we actually gonna engage them here or nah? I don't think so. 
Oh, they retook this. Oh, well, it's okay. It's quick capture. They're just trying to exploit. They're not really exploit. They're trying to get as much gain in as little time and effort as possible is what they're trying to do. That's what the AI always does. All right, so they're right now. They're just, they have too many troops here for me to fucking deal with all at once. Maybe I should get these legions headed over east, but I still don't think we need them. Because the mercs have made good progress. They're holding the line. This one will recover. And my legion is still down here taking things left and right without much issue. Once we have everything in one area, they won't outnumber me anyway. So it won't really matter. The siege has begun. No blockade to worry about. Those 50 ships are going to pop out if they're still even here. No, I think they left. Smart of them. Whew, this is a hell of an event that really affects me. I don't want to lose five stability right now. The aggressor expansion already stops it from going up that much. I think I'll just spend the money to get the three stability and ten years of morale bonuses and omen bonuses. At least omen bonuses mean I'll also earn more money. It's a lot of money to spend, but it's okay. They seem to have left up here. How far back are you going to run, boys? Oh shit, look at this. Coming up from the north now. But with a smaller stack. I'll recap this to annoy them and then I'll head north. Oh, oh, they're coming to attack me. Oh boy, but I'm on the defensive, so that helps. But they're still going to outnumber me in the end. So this is going to be another battle loss, probably. Our discipline's higher, but they do have the numbers here. It looks like we're winning, actually. Getting there and being on the, de the defensive actually really, really helped. Huh. Impressive. That's interesting. Oh, but they have more coming, and that's going to turn it in their favor. 100%. That's too many. That's too many. But we're... Tearing down their numbers. And that's still a good thing, yeah. Oh my god, wait, what? We could still win this even despite them receiving all those extra reinforcements. That is crazy. And we're outnumbered now. We still might win. These dudes are going to need a lot of recovery time, depending on how this goes. We're really just attruding each other right now. Ow. God damn. We got a good setup here, though. Look at that. Oh, oh, they're getting fucked now. They're down to their supply units. Oh yeah, dude. They just got messed up. We killed over 20k units and only lost 7.5k. Jesus Christ. Oh, but they had reinforcements coming. And it looks like they're committing. All right, you get moving. You're already kind of back up to snuff. Where'd their navy go? I guess it just fled somewhere else. That's a shame. And they did attack, but they didn't have the numbers anymore. They were probably already committed to coming. So, yeah, look at this. Woo! Woo! That's awesome. And, yep, 2-1 to one kills, losses there. That's pretty nice. I still got more stuff incoming. Holy shit. Well, hey, you guys just sit there. Can I add on to it later on? Yeah, you can add units in one by one if you have the space for it. You can also do separate armies as well in one legion. Yeah, you can split a legion. Yeah, you can split the legion in half. Yeah, it's nice. You can also end up with accidentally overstacked legions because, like, let's say you can make 10 cohorts in a region, but then your core population goes down in the region where you raised the legion you'll actually end up kind of like having 10 where you could have 9. And so long as you don't fire any, then you'll always have that additional number more than you're supposed to. Try to get some damage in here. How's the war in Thrace going? Uh, it's going pretty well. They have a lot of numbers, and they kind of forced them into one spot, so I did have a loss there, but I'm pretty much slaughtering them, even just with my mercenaries. My legion's just taking care of he difficult sieges. My mercs are destroying their armies. Well, the good news is that I should get the, the uh, civic advances for roads today. Roads? That's good. I don't think you held that button long enough because you fucking cut out like crazy. <laughs> oh, I was just saying yeppers. Alright, now we've intercepted these guys we had to no they count as crossing the river because they're the attacker that's good sometimes it works like that and then sometimes it doesn't so i, I never try to assume that that's going to happen and we slaughter them nice and now we can push it heading back east what the fuck is this now holy shit Whoa. wow that's for you narfi yeah i'm reading I'm so well, there's the hordes the this is not good <laughs> it's parthia Whoa, and you just got good. massive debuffs you unpause when you're ready <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Yeah, because now you have a war in Egypt. You still don't have your war goal. <laughs> and now Parthia... <laughs> oh, Parthia grew. They took over their... They were a subject to someone. And uh, they became their own owners and ate their owners somehow. They ate yeah, they their owners? Right. Yes, I don't know how else to describe it. They ate their owners. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you... <laughs> What's so funny is this was a former vassal of the Seleucids, and now they're becoming quite a yeah. pain in the ass. 
I'm gonna guess that uh, most of your units, if not all of them, are in Egypt. <laughs> And I also went from uh, 50 stability to... Woo! Holy to shit! Woo, man! And my ruler died. <laughs> 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 man! You're never gonna make it to Greece like this! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> That's really, really good, Travis. That's really, really good. Alright, yeah, let he, me try to peace out with He won't Egypt. be in Greece anytime soon. <laughs> oh god. His best bet right now would probably be to peace out with Egypt and hit, put all his troops over that way. Yeah, but he has to give up. He was just about to win in Egypt. He'd, he'd not be able to get everything he can. What's his war score right now? It's at plus 33, so he can take some stuff, but not as much as he'll want. That's for sure. Not the good stuff, yeah. He could probably only take Alexandria if that's, like, all he asked for. <laughs> at least it's something. Yeah, this vastly slows him down. We'll see, really, based on how much he actually eats. Hopefully he mostly just takes non-valuable Eastern stuff in the Middle East instead of the Delta itself. I'm so curious to see how you handle this. Yeah, problem is I don't have enough uh, score to take what I want from Egypt. Yeah, so... So you, I have to cook, yeah. You have to just take what you can or concede, like... In the east I, for now? I can, take, I can take Alexandria. Only Alexandria? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm in that province. Yeah, that would be an interesting little exclave. I mean, at least it's yeah. something. Yeah. I think I've got to do that. You could also be taking things, like, to the east that you can actually defend properly. What do you mean? Like, all this stuff that you actually border. You conquered, like three full provinces that you actually border. Yeah, but I don't have the really the, the Casas Belly on that, so it costs a lot more. What did you get Casas Belly on? Ah! Because I only wanted that. <laughs> well, you can get one of them, just not one you border, so good luck defending that. Yeah, there you go. Seleucids now own the Western Delta in Alexandria. I mean, that's almost two ducats right there, so that's something. Two ducats a month. And now my troops have to walk all the way back. Yes. Have fun. Yes. At least you have roads. Yes, at least you have roads. <laughs> yeah, this is where roads come in handy. Right, well, that's good. That kind of slows him down for a little bit. There's a problem. Our legion here is out of... Yeah, okay. Our legion here is out of food, so they're starving. They've already lost, like, I don't know, a fourth of their total manpower right now that's not very good given the length that this siege will be and this is a very important spot that we have to take hopefully it we can take it <laughs> my mercs are advancing in the meantime though i do believe we do have our war target yes the province of pelagonia which i believe is this yes very good very nice maybe i could transport the mercs over here oh wait no we're doing pretty well on the siege we might not need it i was gonna say maybe i could transport the mercs to make the siege easier maybe Potentially. Oh, we need this right here, huh? Ugh, well, I need to. Oh, God. We have access to the Antigonus? We do. That was a cool event. I got to decide what to do with uh, Alexander the Great's body. Like, I could uh, transfer to my uh, capital or one of the other capitals to, to give them a boost. Did you eat it? <laughs> yeah, I destroyed the body. <laughs> no. <laughs> eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, God, what's this? Oh god, okay, well, we're gonna have a big battle I didn't intend to have here. Well, we have both mercs on top of it, so that's not so bad. Yeah, this one's gonna get a little beat up. But the other one's gonna arrive and save the day, right? Oh, they got reinforcements too. Where's mine? There they are! Woo! Alright, now we'll win. Good thing they're mercs. Good thing they're mercs. This legion is still slowly losing supplies, which is fun. But we got 42% chance every month now on this siege. Come on, we just gotta take that. That's... We have everything of importance, like, other than that, I'm pretty sure. And then the rest of this war is just me doing whatever I want, I guess. The Legion's, like, half dead now, though, so... Come on, fingers crossed. The fort's still too high to really besiege it. And we did it! Nice! Alright, move up north, you guys. Head down here. Or up here, I don't know. And now there's barbarians over here. 4k of them, that's not... Very opportune. I don't have anyone to defend over there, because that's where all the offensives are. The Legion can go up there, I guess. I got one attack going out to this little island. 
A Rodo Oh god, and it's in it's in deep shit. Oh my god, help me. Well, yeah, they're they're kind of fucked. So never mind, that attack's not going anywhere, because Thrace arrived with another 17k men. I got a siege going for their capital that's about to hit some of their fleeing armies. Yeah. <laughs> I need this in order to actually take this whole region here. I can take peace without that. We got really funny offers here. Oh, I think one of those mercenaries just perma-died and like I lost them for the time being. Oh god, so much stuff is happening. Yay!